We're here today because improvements in agriculture can make an enormous difference. Now, here in Senegal and across Africa, most people are employed in agriculture. And we know that compared to other sectors, growth in agriculture is far more effective in reducing poverty, including among women. Part of why this work is so important is because if you want broad-based economic growth, uh, in a country like Senegal, starting with these small-scale farmers, putting more income into their pockets uh, ensures that you know, it's not just a few who are benefiting uh, from development, but everybody's benefiting, and it makes an enormous difference. That's why when I took office, uh, we took at new ways that we could provide assistance and partner with countries, and we decided to make food security a priority. We help mobilize uh, the leading economies uh, around the world on this mission. In the United States, we launched our new initiative called Feed the Future, which works in partnership with 12 African countries. We know this works. Uh, today, we're going to be releasing a report that shows progress so far under Feed the Future. We've already helped 7 million small farmers harness new techniques We've boosted the value of their goods uh, that they sell by more than $100 million, and that means higher incomes for farmers and more opportunities for farmers. You know, in a place like Ethiopia, we've been hearing about farmers who, who are getting new loans, sometimes for small, mechanized products like this that can make all the difference. One farmer said this salary changed his life uh, because you know, he was able now to send his child to school. Well, we're seeing some of these new technologies that will unleash even more progress. That includes how farmers here in Senegal are using their cell phones to share data so they get the best price when they bring their products to market. I met with a young woman farmer who had started off with one hectare, now has 16. She has been able to uh, achieve enough growth that she's now bought a tractor. She's hired eight people. Now, we, that's not what we ordinarily think of as business or entrepreneurship. But if you think about the number of Africans who are involved in agriculture and giving them the tools where suddenly they're getting better prices for their crops, they've got access to a marketplace, they now are getting enough credit to be able to mechanize their operations. And now suddenly they're able to hire some people in their surrounding villages. You've just suddenly seen a small business grow. When people uh, ask what's happening to their taxpayer dollars and uh, foreign aid, I want people to know this money's not being wasted. It's helping feed families. It's helping people uh, to become more self-sufficient. And it's creating new markets for U.S. companies and U.S. goods. It's a win-win situation.